dusk awakens, alertness coming fast. After spending more than a few days in this basement, recovering and digitizing the many books that she managed to gather from a nearby library. She's burned through a lot of batteries and burned through a lot of calories. But while she's been down here, changes have been a common, both to herself and her brother. As she looks to the sofa that he has been resting on, she sees those leaves that he once had are now replaced by his regular hair, sprouting forth from his barky skin, but then stretching off the edge of the couch where there should be but one set of legs. There are many genetic chaos. Even Dusk, she herself has been undergoing changes. Underneath that baseball cap of hers, there are two small bumps. Their DNA is spinning wildly out of control and Dusk knows how dangerous that can be. Uncontrolled mutation can lead to disastrous results. For Elliot, he may already be too far gone. As he turns where his mouth once was, a beak now protrudes, covered in bark. Could he even be classified as human anymore? Was he ever really? Either way, he's her brother and she will try to save him. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. Where Dusk and Elliot have spent a number of days down here in this basement. Dusk had to recover from her wounds and then she had to deal with some serious rest issues. She was dead tired, exhausted for a long period of time. So we've been catching up on that. It is 4.30 p.m. at the moment. She's just woken up and she's feeling okay. And now, as we can see, there have been some changes with Elliot. First of all, though, let's have a look at Dusk and see what we have going on here. Of course, we have head bumps, a pair of bumps on your head. So there is something there beneath the skin that is trying to grow. What that might be, horns, antennae, or something else, we don't know, at least not just yet. Looking at her positive mutations here, nothing new, and the same is true for her negative traits. So, just the one change for Dusk, whereas Elliot, oh boy, those changes keep on coming. So, we can see here, he still has his stubby dragon tail, his reptilian eyes, but these two new ones here, beak and leg tentacles. You have a beak for a mouth. You can occasionally use it to peck at your enemies, but it's impossible for you to wear mouth gear. Slightly reduces wet effects. So no gas masks for Elliot. And then of course, leg tentacles. Your legs have transformed into six tentacles. This decreases your speed on land by 20%, but makes your movement silent. Interesting. Increasing your swimming speed and reduces wear penalties, but you can't wear footwear anymore. That's okay. Because of his bark, he couldn't really wear shoes to begin with. And in my mind, these tentacles aren't so much like your cephalopod tentacles, but they're more like vines stretching out from him. The weird dryad creature that he is. I don't believe he's had any other positive mutations here from what we can see and no other negative ones there. So just the two big physical changes and that is a big change, 20% slower. We'll see how that affects him being able to try and keep up with Dusk. Yeah. <laughs> What a time. Wow. And yeah, we, we don't have a lot of food with us at the moment. And yeah, we did actually have some dry cat food with us in the last episode. It was just in the backpack. So we could have maybe tried to save that Siamese cat. We may still even go back for it. But I mean, let's think about it. If we did get it last episode, then, well, we would have had some trouble, wouldn't we? Trying to protect the cat and all the chaos that was happening above us. And no doubt there are still some stragglers there. We'll try and deal with them today. Both Dusk and Elliot are fresh. And having a look at Elliot, look at that. Two working arms. Fantastic. Very, very good news. Uh, you are still wielding your bayonet. It is a little damaged though, because he's been using it a fair amount. I have decided to leave a few things behind here. A few empty magazines. So many of our books. And if we have a look at our tablet PC at the moment, we're actually on our last battery at the moment, and read stored books, we have so many books that we can read here and I'm kind of like half tempted to stay here and try and read some things 
to help Dusk get higher social skills because we're more than likely going to be dealing with a person today, but she is hungry. Elliot, no doubt, is hungry too, and that's something that we are going to have to deal with. Let's turn off that screen, because yeah, Dusk, she hasn't been eating all that well down here, but she also hasn't been expending a lot of calories. It's really just been resting. But yeah, my gosh, Elliot, um, oh, it'll take some explaining to, um, describe to people that you are indeed uh, safe to be around. <laughs> but I mean, hey, on a good day, is Elliot the Wendigo Wood safe to be around? Look at this strange lad. <laughs> I do love that he's still able to wear the tan ballistic vest on his chest here. Yeah, leg tentacles. Silent movement though, that's, that's pretty cool. It makes him even more dangerous. Uh, so, before we leave this town here, I do want to check out this house down here. We haven't been able to look at that just yet. I did quickly pop up here to try and scavenge some batteries from the numerous bodies that were around here, so there really isn't much else left around. Uh, we did see a zombie for a moment, and oh, that's a zapper. Okay, so ideally we'll deal with that thing together. Ah, uh, there's the zombie. That's going to come roaming out towards us. Let's slash it down, Dusk. And we are still overweight at the moment. What is going to be causing that right now? Well, it's a landmine still. And I guess I have to ask myself, do we really want to hold on to the landmines? I think after the zapper, we may want to try and get rid of them. Of course, we do get stunned there because, well, metal sword. Yeah, and we've just damaged our arms a little bit. Let's look at dropping these landmines off, but we'll, we'll do that inside of here because I think that's going to be a little bit safer. Um, there is a zombie runner. It's a little bit further away right now. The sun is kind of setting, so it's not going to be able to see us really and oh we can see a grappler all the way down to the south so let's just kind of hang here for now and i think i think we probably will look at dropping off these landmines and i know we've got a lot of extra pistols and things like that that we probably don't need to be carrying but we know of a few minefields around so we can always <laughs> have a look at getting things from there instead uh there is a basement here i think i'd like to try and check the upstairs or rather the ground first and hmm interestingly enough we do have a few dead here it's a crawling zombie with some tramadol on it yeah we haven't been down here we didn't kill these things okay well are they gonna make their way on over towards us yeah more than likely and that grappler is going to grab us there is a swarming amalgamation down here as well all right there we go it's trying to grab let's just knock it back there okay <laughs> destroy all the glass then make lots of noise that's all right Swarming amalgamation is just on the edge of our vision right now. It doesn't seem to be coming for us. So let's just see what else we have here. Canning pots. Check the bathrooms. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of decent stuff. We're going to take these aspirins, the melatonin tablets. I might actually just chuck one of the adhesive bandages on right now, just on our two wounds, because they're very, very basic. Left arm and right arm. There we go. Cover up those boo-boos. There's definitely something out the front here. I'm not worried about it right this second. And we've just got some cotton balls in here. Okay, <laughs> Elliot, you weird man. How to succeed in business? I think we've already got that. Let's just take that one down here. You got anything? A smartphone? We can't really use that battery. Let's make our way down. Oh, below. There is actually a zombie down there though. Uh, we, we kill it in one very decent slash. And we got cockroaches down here. Excellent. We're going to take the battery from the cell phone. Uh, that wasn't excellent to the cockroaches, by the way. Uh, we will drop our backpack just to give us a little bit more movement. Uh, cockroaches can be nimble. And Elliot very quickly kills that one as it makes its way in here. Do we have water in here? Only a tiny bit of water. Okay. Well, I suppose we could look at drinking some of that back. Oh, cockroach has been spotted. And Elliot takes care of it. Thank you, Elliot. Much appreciated. I don't think we actually managed to finish drinking that. There we go. Nice. We are now slaked. Smash that as well. What have we got over here? Hydrogen peroxide. Any more cockroaches? Ooh, hello. I mean, yes, there are more cockroaches, but there's also something down here. A cockroach has been spotted. Yeah, we'll stop. Ooh. Oh, damn. They actually tore at our legs there a little bit. Yeah, we are going to have to try and repair our various bits of clothing. What else is down here? A Jedi cloak and a sinister cane. Sinister Kane is made of uh, plastic. Has a shiny red orb. Not exactly magic, but the Jedi cloak. Ooh, 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 ooh. That, 
that is tempting. Let's chuck it on and just see how much it's going to affect us. Uh, so it seems to be conflicting with the holster, the sheath, the fitness band, and everything else. But we aren't that encumbered. Can we put them? Shifting the stuff around isn't going to make much of a difference. I think the cloak, we can probably store some things in it. I mean, really, really not, not that much. But it is, it is very cool. Um, maybe we'll just put it into our pack. Yeah, let's just go take it off for now. Keep that cloak in mind. And let's see what we have down here. First of all, on the table, an adjustable stock and a funnel. Um, we'll take both, just because uh, if we need some extra water down the line, that will be useful. Lots and lots of roach dirt here, and a locked door. Not a locked door. Okay, we were able to open that just fine, and hello. Okay, um, first of all, we've got some 556 five, rounds, we're definitely gonna take that. We're gonna take all the ammunition here. Um, we've got a Beretta rifle here. It's an individual carbine that's in competition to replace the M4. It failed to replace it, but it's used by the military all around the world. Ooh, well that's nice, uh, but seemingly we're not able to take it. We may be able to wear it. Um, hmm. Also only a 10 round static magazine. We're not worried about that. We're just going to take the ammunition out of that. The M1911 magazine, we're just going to take the stuff out of it. I guess we could have like one of these magazines just because they might be a little bit faster to reload. So we'll take the whole thing. But yeah, we're just gonna take the rest of the rest of this ammunition here. And then, um, can we wear? We can't, but we could wear the AR-15 just for the moment and then put the other one into our lifting field. Yes, yes we can. And let's just take that ammunition out of there, thank you. Nice, and now, <laughs> we've got safes. Lots of safes down here. Hmm. Play with the dial for a little bit. So we need to have a stethoscope, which we currently don't have with us. We would be able to get them from the hospital. Um, I think what we might try and do here is just put a note and just say gun basement and steth. Because I, I, I'm sure I'll know what that will mean. If I just say scope, then I think I'm going to think that there is a scope there. And yes, I know that's not how we spell it, but it should help me remember. <laughs> at least, at least that's the idea. Okay, Elliot, let's make our way back upstairs i wouldn't mind waiting just a little bit longer until sunset how long do we have here three hours until night mm, it's bright lighting outside at the moment minimal pain and we're probably going to be getting more of that as well or oh, we did pick up some more antipsychotics on one of the bodies that was upstairs so hey we've got that going for us uh, i will mark this house as explored though and let's see if we can't get outside the swarming amalgamation is still here. Uh, we're picking up those new weapons and all that new ammunition has led us to be pretty much back at the weight that we were at when we ended up dropping all of those mines. Um, what is that body over there? A zombie necromancer. <laughs> okay, and it's dead. What killed you? Got a sap a zombie here? I mean, none of this stuff was us. So there could be dinos out there in the woods that took these things out, or it could be something else altogether different. I mean, there's more dead down here as well that we didn't kill, so not sure what's going on there. Let's take that one zombie down though, and continue moving on. I would like to not fight the amalgamation if we could avoid it. We're seeing some more dead just down to the south as well. So I think we just start heading directly west. Walter Yi is right there, and I think it might actually be better for us to meet Walter during the daytime. The sunlight though, it is not pleasant. We can see the start of the fields now. Okay, let's keep on making our way down here. There is a devourer. Okay, I can see Walter. I can also see a devourer. And the devourer is currently fighting a giant woodlouse. Okay, um... Oh, that goose is attacking Elliot? Are you kidding me? Really? You, sh are you sure about this? Sorry, goose. You picked the wrong fight. Um, okay. Now, the devourer is far enough away that I don't think it's seen Walter down here. Um, let's have a look at Walter. Oh my gosh. Hot damn. Well, we fit in more than I thought. Sleek fur, feline ears, feline eyes, padded feet, paws, pretty, saber teeth, a snout and whiskers. We got a cat man here who is wearing a ballistic vest, all like really decent equipment. Walter, okay, um, is that yours? Did you throw that at the amalgamation? A simple knife spear, probably. And you know what? That, 
that would last. It is damaged, but I think it's going to take quite a bit for the Devourer to actually be able to damage it. Um, so, from the distance here, we'll let Elliot get a little bit closer, and then we're going to call out and start talking to Walter. Keep your distance. Okay, we can try persuasion. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Fine. Hello there. Um, <laughs> let's ask, what are you doing out here? Currently, I'm guarding this location. Overall, I'm looking for feline mutagen. This world is no place for humans anymore, and I don't plan to keep being one. I see. Feline mutagen. Hmm. Right. Um, okay. Is there anything that I can do to help you? Hmm. I do have a job for you. Want to hear about it? Please, tell me. Does our flag still yet wave? We're batted, but we're not yet out of the fight. We need the old colors. The flag. Okay, I think I can do that. Hell yeah. Find me one of those big old American flags. Um, not a problem. Um, so we can attempt to try and get Walter to travel with us now, but it is going to be difficult. However, if we manage to find this flag, it will be easier. Um, we could try and trade. Oh, Long Island iced tea and low grade myth. <laughs> nice, Walter, nice. Um, I think at the very least, we could try and take care of this amalgamation for Walter because I feel like that's going to make a difference, but we found a goddamn mutant just like us. I love it. Okay, so the devourer, hmm. How do we want to try and fight this thing? Because it grabs, it's a bit of a problem. Our focus ain't great. I don't think we're going to be able to mind hammer anytime soon, but I really do want to try and practice that. We are certainly going to need Elliot here to help us out. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to drop the hiking backpack for now. Uh, also drop the AR that we're wearing because we have the other one. I know we mostly used the AR last time we were fighting. Our encumbrance is much better now. Okay. Oh boy. Not, not a big fan. Hang on. Hang on. Here's an idea. Perhaps a, a much smarter idea. We use the knife spear. We use Walter's knife spear that's on the ground here. Because with this, we can attack from a distance. Ah, it'll be considered stealing. Do we wish to continue? No. Damn it. Let's just pick up our sword then and get ready to do this. Okay. Stepping in. And Elliot, let's get you doing the same. Let's move to that location there, Elliot. Dusk slashes out, sinking her fangs into the devourer and gutting it. All right. Elliot's going to be doing the same. Oh, bleeding on the left leg. Oh, wow. Amazing. Good bloody job, you two. Look how far they've come that they could destroy that as quickly as they did. Sunlight's burning us, but Elliot is healing us. There we are. Okay. Stop the bleeding on our leg. Did the devourer have anything? There's a smartphone in there amongst all of those guts. Right. It looks like there's a pipe that's been left here as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> let's go get our stuff back. Put all of that back on. <sighs> a flag. A flag. Okay. So, schools, things like that. The town hall. Okay. <laughs> That's also another great place that we may be able to find what we need. Um, at some point, I'm definitely going to want to climb on top of this uh, radio tower. But for now, I think what we're going to do is head up towards this campground, wait until nighttime, and then we're going to start to make our way in towards this, uh, this town hall here. Just having a look at the town to see what else we have around in there. The pawn shop, don't think there's going to be much left there really. But the campground may have some useful things for us. Walter, you just chill out here for now. You should be a bit safer. Um, albeit, you don't have your weapon, but we'll see about helping you out with that. Oh, okay. We do actually have a vehicle over here. A big ladybug, it seems. Is this like a horse float? It is. It's a horse trailer. Okay, all right. So, um, I think just before we go, will we gain any extra sight here by standing on top of the silo? Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to climb up. Because we do get a bit of height here. That sun ain't fun. And oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> That's given us it's given us quite a bit. Um, we can see out here a last man on earth shelter. Very nice. And another elven workshop. Well, an elf workshop. Cool. Okay, alright, I'm glad to see all of that. And of course we are seeing further into this town as well. Neat. Alright, let's uh let's go hop down here. 
before Elliot starts to make his way up. Okay, there we go. Back on the ground level. Uh, our torso is getting warm. Yep, no doubt. We are in spring, but I, I suppose we're starting to get into later spring. Here's the campground. Okay, okay. The ladybug is staying away from us for now. Is that a just a regular ladybug? Oh no, it's mutated. It's about the size of a big dog. Um, okay. Still troublesome to deal with. Well, you just, um, stay over there for now, ladybug. And we're just gonna have a little bit of a look around here and see what we can find. Some poor fitting jeans, okay. We've got a brazier, a dimorphodon, which we may be able to cook up if we take it out. I'm not opposed to doing that. It would be nice to get, like, a load of meat. Lots of campfires around here as well. Just want to check all of these tents just to see what we've got going on inside of them. Ah, there's the entrance. Okay, nothing in this one here. There's a few geese around here, which no doubt are going to be a little aggressive, so we'll be mindful of that. What's that there? An evening gown, I see. And last tent, I think. We've got some matches in there, okay. And a pretty damn decent conditioned vehicle. First aid kit box? Yeah, don't mind if I do. I'm still not worrying about the water purification tablets, or I haven't been. I will take some. Elliot hasn't learned quite yet how to um, work his stuff. And Oh, telescoping umbrella. There we go. Um, let's go and wear that telescoping umbrella, and we're going to activate it as well. So that's no longer collapsed. There we go. So that is going to stop us from getting burnt by the sun. Our torso is still going to be pretty warm. Um, so we're probably wearing that on one of our hands, right? Extended left. Okay, yeah, so I, I, th I think we are actually wielding it. It's just not counted as a weapon. Well, cool. And hey, look, we can get into this car. Um, we had some issues with cars in the last, and it might have just been like they were damaged, and that's why we weren't able to get into them. This is an electric sports sedan. The security system is damaged. Um, hmm, okay, the battery might be gone in this. Large storage battery is completely damaged, but it wouldn't take much. I mean, it would take another large storage battery to be able to get this going, but I'm gonna mark this vehicle. Uh, let's just say, remember the vehicle position, because yeah, that would, this, this could very well be good. Damn, yeah. Okay, one more tent for us to look at here. Just some box of briefs, okay. All right, well, I think we are just gonna try and spend some time in here. Sunlight burns your hands. I thought we had the umbrella out. Strange. Oh well, okay, how long? Three hours and 12 minutes still. Okay, so we could spend just a little bit of time here reading. At the same time though, maybe hunting would be a better option for us. Dimorphodon isn't too far away, right? Yeah, it's ignoring us at the moment. It's a bit faster than us. Let's just go and drop our hiking backpack for the moment and see if we can't get a little bit closer to it. Oh, it's uh, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Oh, there we go. We managed to catch it. We've taken a few different strikes here and we have started missing a lot. What's the point of fighting? Yeah, we're really struggling here. Faking a strike at it. There we go. All we needed was one good hit and we've taken it down. Okay, Dusk, let's slow to a walk and just start hauling that back on over towards the camp here. We're gonna wear that backpack and let's see, if we wanna try and get this thing processed, we'll do so over here for now. Uh, if we had a rope, we'd be able to do like a full butchery, but we're just gonna do it here on the table. Butcher that dimorphodon. And, oh, we can actually do a full butchery because it's a smaller creature, I think. Oh wow, two chunks of meat. It's, it's very small, it would seem, it's very small. Let's just take apart one of these benches here real quick and we'll put those planks into the fire, which we got going now. Okay, so liver, scraps of meat, and we got some chunks there as well. So we're probably just going to have Dusk eat these because Elliot has been eating pretty damn good. So cooked meat, first of all. Elliot can help with the batch cooking. I'm still not sure why the umbrella isn't properly helping us out at the moment, but hey, we got ourselves some cooked meat. We're gonna knock that back right away. And then we'll move on to the scraps, I think. And then we'll do the liver after that. Okay, all right. And yeah, we're gonna be quite warm by the fire here. So we might need to like, just wipe off some of the sweat after this. Okay, a thousand calories. It's a start. We'll have some energy cola as well because we are tired. And let's get that sword back into our hand. Okay, um, is there any, no, there's no wood left in that. So we might as well just leave the fire going for the moment. We're in distracting pain at the moment, so we'll take some aspirin as well. And I suppose we could have like a quick little nap just for 
let's say two hours and that would take us to nighttime we can even set an alarm um most comfortable place for us to do that is probably going to be over here in this little uh electric sedan can we close the back here i guess it is closed isn't it okay elliot let's go have ourselves a little bit of a snooze we can wake up in three hours that i think is gonna work okay and we're gonna get up now um we didn't sleep but we did rest so that's uh that's something for us we're gonna have some caffeinated chewing gum two lots of that there just so that we are not so tired elliot will you follow us back outside you will okay all right so it's pretty dark it's foggy yet again we don't have anything covering our eyes at the moment so we shouldn't have any problem seeing things uh, we do know that Elliot does see a little bit better in the dark than us, so if he starts calling out that there's something in a direction, we know not to go in that direction. But yeah, <laughs> we are going to be going right towards the town hall. And I do suppose we could probably look at just leaving a few things here, maybe down by our little campfire. Not right next to it, but close enough. Um, we're going to drop off some of the weapons, just because they are going to be quite... Um, well, they're just going to be... they're going to be heavy. We don't need to have all of them. And I do want to put our AR back into our lifting field, which I know we might be able to get away with putting a cardboard box or something like that in our lifting field to carry things or a lighter weight backpack. We'll have a look at that option down the line. But for now, we are considered to be not overburdened. So that works. Let's turn on safe mode just so I don't wander aimlessly into anything here. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Um, okay, <laughs> something's been killing here. That's a dead feral human. We'll make sure that they stay dead. What's been doing that killing, huh? We've got a house here and then the town hall. Let's just kind of stay on the sidewalk for now. I wonder if, if it's more quieter walking on the grass. That's one sound on here. It is also one sound. Dusk does have light steps, so she's going to be pretty quiet in general. And of course, Elliot now is supposedly completely silent, just moving around on those tentacles of his. And hello, zombie. Let's just back up here. And I do wonder, are the zombies that we're seeing now, are they still... Yeah, some of them are quite damaged. This one is so damaged that I think it has revived at some point. It could have revived uh, just the moment that we got closer to them now. All right, that's the house. We can also have a look at that. Oh, Elliot. That's a... Okay. Well, we ran over there as quickly as we could. That was a freaking zombie brute. And Elliot's totally fine. Nice one, man. Okay, let's take that gum and let's just make our way a little bit further to the north. You injured as well? No, you're completely fresh. So let's just back up and... Oh, I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, we do have something going on in here uh, around us. Oh, it's above us. Zombie dies. Uh, were you up above? above and then you just drop down and Elliot killed you I think maybe yeah zombie falls down a ledge falls down a level it jumped from the from the top that's very cool and also kind of terrifying to think of zombies just landing on your head um okay yep we're not cracking into that that way um if there is a flag it's probably going to be on the outside anyway so that's what we are going to be looking out for okay great we got ourselves a boomer um the boomer I'm going to try and see if we can for shove knock it into the wall okay that did some damage we'll try and do the same again and the reason i'm doing that is just so that we don't get uh guts all over us but of course we just made a fair bit of noise so we're gonna need to deal with some of those problems um that one zombie dead very dead okay um oh okay that was a shot it is a feral human okay wasn't a shot shot let's move up to help him uh i want that feral to die we've been grabbed by a grappler the tough zombie's dead now let's smash that one oh look at them go we got some I, was, I thought it was a cider it's a cigar yeah we'll take the cigar let's try and move away from this just because it's going to get too active too fast and we're going to start to make our way around the western side of the building we've spotted a zombie dog we will stop catching our breath elliot thank you very much let's keep on breathe in dusk and let's carry on down this way we are going to be getting close to an office tower so there's probably going to be a few people uh in there as well okay you're going to smash your way on out towards us aren't you okay oh and there we have it we can already see one an american flag well hot damn that's what we came here for so that's what we're going to get we're just going to quickly check the bodies here 13 it's a very small charge but it is still enough for us to be able to get in a little bit of reading so it's worthwhile let's take this big boy down i'm gonna take that coin from you and then flag 
Let's pick up the flag. Taking it off of the flagpole. Yeah, there we go. Walter is going to be happy about that. Okay, so at this stage, I think we can start to make our way back towards him. But I wouldn't mind just ducking into this home here. Because I think it's at least two stories if we had the guy dropping down from the roof. And we'll see if there's anything worth us taking here. There's a ski mask. Okay. Ooh, okay. Three unread memory cards. I have to remember to go through those at some point. We also have another safe here as well. Right. Some cakes on the table. Rotten. No surprises. And always looking for batteries. Just lots of seasoning. Nope. Nada. Okay. Uh, let's check the pantry though and deal with the chef. There we go. We'll take your multivitamins and that memory card from you. And we'll also take that battery. Then what have we got in the box? Graham crackers. Nice. Elliot, where did you go? Hey, stay close, please. In the bathroom, we got ourselves some more alcohol wipes. Um, we want to make sure that we've got a really big stockpile of these. I am going to try and give some to Elliot as well, just so that he will do disinfections whenever we need them. Stairs up and stairs down. Let's go down first of all. See what we got going on down here. Man Magnum. It's a modern magazine published in South Africa. It can teach us about shotguns. Uh, I think we already have enough of the kind of shotgun knowledge books, so we won't worry about that one. We will try and lure this zombie on over towards us. Good job, Dusk. There's a plague robe, a dark robe cassock, worn by plague doctors. That would be very cool to give to Elliot. Uh, so we'll put it into our pack for the moment. Uh, <laughs> just because I feel like it would go very well with his tentacles and stuff, and then you know, to the untrained eye, you might not actually be able to tell that he is uh, walking on tentacles. Yeah, at least that'll be that'll be the idea. Uh, what have we got in here? Crispy cranberry. Uh, we'll probably just drink that, but we are going to take the the powdered candy sticks for sure. Yeah, let's go knock that back. Um, we'll eat the sticks now, and we'll probably eat the graham crackers as well. Nice. We've got some filter paper book that we've already read. And some more just for fun things. Some toastums though, hell yeah. Ooh, okay. Locked door, but not locked. It's interesting. That means it would have been locked from the inside, possibly, which is strange. Um, soda can stove kit. Hell yeah. W where? Where exactly? Oh, just around on the floor. Uh, we'll take that. Hell yeah. That's going to be a useful little cooking tool for us to have on the go. So now, let's go make our way upstairs. Another locked closet, okay. Um, let's go crack this thing open. We'll use our enhanced strength if we can. We get it right away. And let's go crack that door. Oh, it's taken a few attempts here. I am surprised. Oh, it's just a bathroom. Not worth it. That's fine. We have another bathroom over here. This one's already damaged. I'll give it one or two whacks, but I'm not going to go any further than that. We've got a thick wool onesie. Uh, we're really not going to need that going into late spring. And... I think we may have a secret behind that, quite possibly. Oh, no, we don't. No, we don't. Uh, paramedics, sure, we'll pick up that one. Rocket Propel Grenade. Um, see, I don't know if we've read this book or not, because it's the only thing that we can select on that square. Oh, okay, we can tell if we kind of select like that. No, so we have not read that yet. Let's learn about launches. We've got some urban camo pants, some more aspirin, and we've got an electronic safe there, a hunting cap. Oh, uh, if it was fitting, we'd take it replaced Dusk's uh, baseball cap that she's had on for, well, kind of since the start, really. Stereo system up here. A oh, nice little place, but we're going to be moving back on towards our Catman, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Um, let's go out the front for now and just make our way down here. We'll just be sure that Elliot is still following us, and we'll try and retrace our steps as best we can, keeping safe mode turned on. All right, okay, we've made it down to our equipment, uh, which we're going to grab everything for now. Uh, we are just going to have to wear our rifle for a moment, and then we will go and put the other one into the lifting field. There we go. We've got everything. Now let's hope you are still down here somewhere. There you are, Walter. Uh, let's wait for Elliot to catch on up, and then let's talk. Walter, rescued the standard yet. Yeah, I did. Here it is. America! Fuck yeah! I could use a hand with something else if you are interested. Uh, yes, but how about you teach us something as payment? Yeah. Okay, we can learn a little bit about dodging, a little bit about unarmed combat, or social. Sure, we'll take a little bit of social training. Sounds good. Okay, there we go. We get some training in social. It's now 10 p.m. at the moment. Um, let's see. What else did you want us to do for you? 
I have another job. If you want to hear about it, please um, tell me. We have the flag, but now we need to locate US troops to see what we can do to help. I haven't seen any, but I'm figuring one of those choppers that were flying around during the outbreak would have a good idea. If you can get me a black box from one of the wrecks, I'll look into where we might open the rat. Okay, I'll uh, keep my eye out for, for Rex. Fuck yeah, America. I love Walter. Um, not a problem. Okay. Um, now, can we convince him to travel with us now? Yeah. I mean, we can try. You know, we should really stick together. There's a lot of, there's a lot of weird shit out there. Elias chimes in. You should trust her, you know. Thanks, Elliot. Now, obviously, there's a higher chance to intimidate, but we're not going to do that. Um, I can, I can help keep you safe. We can find that box together. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, that's that's fine. We will earn your trust. We won't be far from here. I will find that chopper or find something even better. You stay safe, Walter. And you, Dusk. Yeah, well, kind of figured, kind of figured. And look at that, we are dead tired yet again. It's so difficult to stay on top of sleep, especially when, well, you're doing a lot of stuff at night. We are, however, close to some silos. I'm wanting to try and see if down along here somewhere we have a farmhouse. Yeah, right down there, farmhouse, greenhouse. Okay, I think that's the direction that we're probably going to head towards. So this is yet another field by the looks of things. Okay, another here as well. We are hearing some sounds, horse horses i would just adore for us to have some horses especially elliot as well that would just be the best um they should be pretty safe for the most part and i'm hoping that the ones that are in stables will be safe as well because i believe yeah horse stable okay but before anything else i think we want to try and get over towards the farmhouse oh boy that's a zombie child just wandering around here in the night elliot i'm gonna need you to try and help me out here so let's lure it on over towards Elliot, and Elliot helps us out. Let's just take the beans, the tomato, and we'll eat those fried seeds now. No one else was with you, right? It doesn't look like it. Okay, let's follow the dirt road here. Okay, we are getting close to this farmhouse now. So I'm just going to want to be a little cautious when we show up here. Um, because we know farmhouses can be a little weird. In cataclysm so we'll determine whether or not this is one of those weird farmhouses because if it is a weird one uh, I'm sure Elliot would be super freaking happy is there anyone home do we want to yell out I don't think it would be safe to yell out we will just look around though clear so far okay let's start to close some of these curtains just so that we would be less visible in a place like this everything is completely barren the shelves everything but it's in really really good condition not like the houses in the city the windows are still intact and okay there's some calcium tablets underneath the sink there um we could maybe do with a little bit of extra calcium let's go take some of them it's 86 percent of our recommended daily intake and that's a little bit more yeah carrying on back through the beaded curtain more curtains that we can close excellent and i think we can completely block off sight to the outside we can very nice under the sink some protein powder and the pantry is beer but this place is pristine absolutely pristine and so far no sign of dead whatsoever this could be a fantastic home for these two i mean nice big bathtub there as well everything you could want right let's go close all of those close this one too bathrobe in there so whoever lived here seemingly has left at some point because it doesn't look like it's been ransacked some western boots here an acoustic guitar yeah now we're talking okay well let's go move that guitar um off of the desk and just onto the chair just so that we know that it is there because uh yeah that would be super fun to be able to jam along on that yet another bathroom there's a lot of freaking bathrooms here and another bedroom here as well so they very easily could have uh bedrooms to themselves motorcycle boots some sneakers if we could get the motorcycle boots to fit that would be very nice um but we've we've cleared this place there is 
no one here. Um, there may be a cellar around back, so we will have a look to see if that's the case. Uh, what's that? Hard hat? A riding helmet. Now we're talking. Whoa, that's really good protection. The average um, coverage is okay, but this is great protection. And I mean, yeah, it's meant to stop you from cracking your head when you're on a horse. Uh, the baseball cap has done as well so far, but we are going to hang that up over there. Yeah, Dusk now rocking the riding helmet. And oh, we do we do have one more curtain to close just over here. There we go. All done. Elliot, thank you for closing those doors. Let's just continue around the back here. Check it all out. And no sellers from what we can see. Okay, but we do also have a greenhouse just over here. And then horse stables just to the north. And then paddocks, pastures. Okay, pastures. We could have a fair amount of animals in there. Damn, this is, this is very, very promising. Okay, that tool shed there seems to be locked. That's all right. And a greenhouse, a proper freaking greenhouse. Oh, I love this. I really, really do. Reinforced glass with closed shutters. I, this is it. I think, I think this is the place. This is, this is the place for us. Whoever lived here before, they, they aren't here anymore. And I don't think it's Walter, because Walter's far enough away that I think he's probably been staying up in this campground for the most part, and he's been doing that for a while. And he also seems to have been mutating for a while as well. Such an interesting character for us to run into, and I can't wait to see uh, where that goes. But we're going to need to get better at social before we're actually able to recruit him. I will just put a quick little note here, just so that we remember. We'll, put, we'll make it pink. We'll just say Walter, just so that we know he's up there. And in the next, well, we're going to try and rest, first of all. But then we can start securing this place. We're going to need to board up windows. And we are going to need more food. If there are animals around chickens we may be able to get eggs i think fully exploring this whole farm is going to be what we need to do and that radio tower that'll provide us excellent sight of the surrounding areas oh and you know what just before we finish here there we go the plague robe suits elliot just fine and yet it does conflict with his rigid armor his bark but it's very, very minor. And I think it just completes the look of this very interesting individual. With the beak and all, Elliot, you are far from human, but you're still family. Legionnaires, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time... Stay 